Feel the rhythmic waves of a pristine turquoise water splashing against your feet as your body absorbs the natural requirement of vitamin D from the sun while drinking the perfectly blended cup of Caicos teas, detoxifying your bodies of impurities. Now, open your eyes. Fellow ministers, commissioners, and honorable colleagues, you have just visualized wellness. As junior minister of the Turks and Caicos Islands, I will establish the AAA plan, accommodation, attraction, and agritourism. Three sustainably designed wellness tourism experiences ensuring visitors truly get to experience the Turks and Caicos Islands. Accommodation. People are seeking holistic experiences, not only to rejuvenate the bodies, but also nourish their minds and souls. The charming eco-oasis island of Seoul Key is the ultimate location. A destination with a low carbon footprint, a perfect place to unplug from this world of toxicity. My ministry intends to restore one of the remaining salt warehouses constructed from limestone and also a natural air purifier into a retreat facility on Salt Key, an island that was under consideration as a World UNESCO Heritage Site. It was this same salt, pure salt, that helped President George Washington during the American Revolutionary War, the same salt that he called white gold. The facility will offer therapeutic salt baths sure to stimulate Circulation will leave joint pains and arthritis within the perfect weather conditions. Attraction, in collaboration with the Turks and Caicos National Trust and the Turks and Caicos National Museums, investments will be made in nature-based attraction in North and Middle Caicos, home to all Ramsar sites and the largest above-ground cave system in the Lucayan archipelago with pre-Columbian petroglyphs. Interpretive centers will educate visitors on local biodiversity. Outdoors activities will be promoted with walking and cycling trails to the indigenous Caicos pine forest with yoga platforms and local concession stands. Agritourism, leveraging the influx of over a million cruise passengers and the permanence of the Turks and Caicos Sea Salt, we aim to establish the Turks and Caicos Island as a gastronomic wellness center. Kiosk funded and supported by my ministry will be strategically located to engage tourists upon their arrival and departure. Honorable colleagues, the case for pivoting towards wellness and tourism is compelling, transforming, beautiful by nature into experience the Turks and Caicos. Thank you. for closing this discussion today. We'll now give the judges half a minute to consider what was just said.